Hey guys, here's eight quick ideas about how to make bottle openers. This first one is really just to demonstrate the geometry. All you really need is something to get under the bottle cap and something on the opposite side to apply pressure to. And that could be as simple as just sticking a screw in a piece of wood. And this next one is really just a more portable version of that. I used a piece of hardwood, cut it down to a good size that can fit in your hand, and then really just stuck a screw in it. So one problem with this one though is that there was nothing really to keep the screw centered on the bottle cap so it would be prone to slip off so the next design after this one i kind of notched out a little radius in the handle and then used a washer overhanging that notch to basically give a spot for the bottle cap to rest inside and just made it a little easier to use And you could sand something like this down and stain it to make it look a little nicer. But this was really just kind of a proof of concept for me, so I didn't really do that. It can also be fun to take stuff that you have laying around that you don't really use. Like I had this extra wrench. And if you just cut a little notch off of it at the right angle, it works pretty great. This one right here is basically just like a little mini crowbar. So I took one inch uh, flat bar, steel flat bar, and used map gas to heat it up and bend it. Make sure if you do this that you actually use map gas and not propane. Propane's not gonna get hot enough to do something like this. So make sure you get the yellow bottle uh, when you go to the store. If you have anything with a clip on it, uh, like this knife, you can just heat it up with map gas, uh, bend it a little bit so that it can get under the bottle cap and it works pretty nicely as a bottle opener. I think I got this idea from the Jimmy DeResta video. Basically, if you take a decent sized lag bolt, heat it up, and bend it 90 degrees, the geometry works out perfect for a bottle opener. This one's the same concept as the mini crowbar one, except with the screwdriver. And using a screwdriver makes it much easier to use because you have that nice, comfortable handle on the end of it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I usually do furniture videos, but every now and then I plan on throwing in uh, something more experimental like this. So if you like it, give me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And then if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. Thanks.